Okay, a big system downstairs. Uh, getting a big water change today. Lots of work to do. Now, this one's going to take a while. I was going to make a live stream, but you know what? It's just... I don't think I'm going to do much live stream until I get some real cameras, unfortunately. Uh, probably do a few, but it's such a pain in the butt. Uh, and they don't... The live streams help, but... Uh, for me, because I'm not like hosting a talk show or anything, uh, doesn't seem to make a big difference on my stats anyhow. So I'm just going to keep rolling like this for now because I'm doing fairly well like this. And uh, just keep showing everybody what I'm doing. So we're going to, because we've added more volume, I'm going to, and I want more than 50% water change today, we're going to uh, drain the 120 gallons out of these barrels. We're going to drain the 75 gallons uh, out of out of this tank here, and uh, and then we're going to fill all three of those brand new water. The only remaining, uh, well, there'll be 175 gallons of water, sorry, 175, 85, uh, 187 gallons of water left in the system. But I'll be pulling, uh, I guess, roughly the same. Um, I was aiming for more than 50%, but yeah, we're probably going to stop there. I don't want to drain the other tank, and I don't want to drain the top tank. We'll leave them alone and just uh, just give them all some fresh water because I've seen a few bubbles forming today, this morning, and uh, that's it. That's that's my call when I when I see bubbles uh, not not disappearing right away. It's time for water change. Although in this tank, honestly, the bubbles look good. So it's, it's kind of strange, but uh, in the um, in the 75 over there, it's an older, it's been running a little longer. It's got more fish in it, and I'm seeing bubbles on that one. Now the water cycles through the whole system, so there shouldn't be an issue. But before it enters this tank, it goes through the sun sun. And before it enters the sun sun, it goes through like a huge, massive... Uh, sponge filter that's about that big on the on, on the intake so uh, this tank's probably going to be a lot cleaner than the other ones but then the water from this tank goes back into the system so uh, i'm really it really should all be the same i might not have needed a water change today but uh, yeah they're lasting a little bit here too so it's not bad but you can see a couple of them getting across there So, it's about the same, probably. It was minor, but... Uh, keeping it clean. That's what we're doing. We're going to keep them clean. They're going to grow. They're going to grow fast. They're going to grow well. They're going to have good shape. I just heard something I don't like. Let's get over here. Why did I hear something gurgle? Well, nothing's out of place. Oh, okay. It's the uh, the outflow from the uh, 112 gallon. Seems to have let a little water out. Probably because the water level in here dropped, and then it got uh, it's draining out the tube. Yeah, it's leaking a little water out of the tank still, but that's okay. We're gonna let that happen. That's the intake. Let's see if we can get you a shot of the... I don't think my light will turn on. Oh, it does. It does, okay. I'm going to give you a shot of the intake uh, for the sun sun. There you go. See the big sponge intake? So that comes in through here. Goes up into the sun sun. Sun sun goes back out into the... Um, into the 112. And then the 112 bleeds back out uh, into this barrel. So it comes out of this barrel. Goes, gets filtered, goes back into this barrel after it's uh, been through the tank. And, uh, sorry, this built barrel gets filtered, goes into the 112, and then falls back into this barrel. And then it proceeds into the lower 75, and then um, it gets pumped up into the upper 75, and it just continues the circle from there. So, it's pretty cool setup. I'm really enjoying it. 
Um, the algae is still an issue. You can see some up in the top corner, but it's getting to be less and less. And as I continue to do uh, frequent water changes, I should be able to put a dent in, uh, in algae production. I've been leaving the light off on this tank, and just that alone has, uh, has also done wonders for the algae situation. I don't want to leave the tanks off on the Oscar or lights off on the Oscars all day. I could do that as well, but I'm not. I'm not going to play that game. I'm just going to fight it the old-fashioned way. Keep cleaning my glass, and uh, see. I turn the lights off down here. Everybody's dead too. I guess it would be the easiest solution, but uh, we're not. We're not into that right now. So I'll leave the. I'll leave these two tanks off after I'm done, just to keep the overall population down, and uh, that should do it. So anyway, that's how a water change goes. I mean, we're into the second barrel here. I actually need to start fulfilling this one now, so I'm gonna get to that. And, uh, and then we'll be moving this and the pump into the 75 on the bottom. We'll pump that out. I'll just leave the hose in here, get the temperature set, and uh, it will fill both barrels in the 75. I won't have to move it. I just have to keep an eye on things until the water starts falling in the 75. And then I'll have to sit here and watch it so I don't flood the place. And I, I do that. It's, thank God this setup's in a basement, let me tell you. Anyhow, thanks for watching. We're going to keep them short today. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope, uh, I hope our world finds peace and prosperity real soon. For, for everyone, and I mean that. Have a great day.